I stand ready. Nobles must be strong. Ready any time. and willing.
Stay focused. Come on it. I got this. Another step forward. A bit disappointing. done yet.
idea. Estimated me. That helps. Definitely tougher.
I got an idea. Perfect comprehension. The time has come for the annual ball, but first, an eve of merriment. Okay, I'll admit it, the Officer's Academy isn't as uptight as I thought. Ooh, I adore such things. Dancing is the only thing I'm really good at anyway. There's a feast tomorrow, isn't there? Isn't there? Oh, I can't wait a moment longer. Dancing, singing? I'm not good at either of those things. So, dancing is fun! Oh, and remember that you can't dance with the same partner multiple times. It's tradition. That means you have to dance with all of the gentlemen in all of the houses, swapping dance partners as you please. <laughs> How scandalous. I, for one, plan to simply behold the pure essence of dance. Oh, um, watch from a distance. You can't just watch, Marianne. If a boy asks you to dance, you simply must accept. It's only polite. You can ask anyone to dance? God, whatever should I do? <laughs> oh, lucky you, Ignatz. Tomorrow, if only for a day, you may live out your dearest dreams of an exalted existence. As for me, I am surely to be overwhelmed with the propositions of desperate ladies. I will doubtless have little time for partners of my own choosing. Which one of you is dreaming now, Lawrence? Everyone, listen up. To no one's surprise, I have a brilliant idea. Teach, you'll want in on this too. This may sound impetuous, perhaps irresponsible, almost certainly impossible. But we're gonna do it anyway. In exactly five years' time, let's promise to meet again, right here at the monastery. A reunion? There's usually food at reunions. Count me in, Claude. Five years from now, will be the monastery's Millennium Festival, celebrating 1,000 years since the founding of Garrig Mach. I hear the Millennium Festival will be the largest celebration in the monastery's history. I get it. It'll be easier for us to all get back here with the Millennium Festival as an excuse. How true. As the new leader of the Alliance, I will certainly have occasion to attend and pay my respects to Lady Rhea. That almost certainly will not transpire. And you, Teach? I guess it's hard to imagine that you'll still be teaching here five years from now. But I'm sure no matter where you end up, you'll come running at the chance to see your adorable little golden deer again, right? <clears throat> uh, 
Hmm, that was your cue to promise everyone you'll return. Go on, set a good example, Teach. If you promise, everyone else will too. <laughs> I'm already excited. After five years, we'll all be whoever we're going to become. Oh, please, Professor, invite Captain Gerald too. I want to show him how well his apprentice turns out. It's settled then. What do you say, Claude? Is it official? The promise is sealed. That means we're all obligated to keep it. Five years from today, all of us will meet again at the monastery. Don't forget it, Teach. You and I will meet here again. Running away? I understand. You hardly had the time to breathe in there. It must be hard to be the favorite teacher at the ball. <laughs> poor, poor professor. Was that a joke? I find it hard to tell with you. Just think of all the students begging you to dance. But where is there to run? This place is filled with joyful students looking for a dance. Ah, I see. The Goddess Tower waits for you. Professor, lovely night, isn't it? Just look at those stars. I heard you were headed over to the Goddess Tower, and I got curious about who you might be meeting. But here you are, all by yourself. This isn't a lover's tryst at all. <laughs> oh yeah, the Goddess Tower is where lovers meet. Didn't anybody tell you? They say that if you exchange vows here, they always come true. It's a sacred place for lovers. Well, the person I'm interested in is already here. You're here alone. I'm here alone. I was thinking, maybe... Well, of course. We're the only two people here, aren't we? I keep thinking about it, and it just makes sense. My crest and yours? Okay, true, true. You know, I've never regretted any of my past behavior until you turned me down just now. I can't be who I've been my whole life. I gotta get it together and become a man you can trust. I know that sounds like another one of my games, but it's true. I'll prove it to you. Anyway, I'm going to head back to the ball. Since we're both here, would you accompany me? Well then, my lady, I do hope you'll give me the honor of a dance. It will be good practice for our first dance at our wedding reception. <laughs> I I'm kidding. 
Anyway, let's get going before you change your mind. It seems that everyone is having a delightful time. Will you not dance some more? How dull of you. Had I a body of my own? Oh, I would sing and dance until I fell upon the ground. But you... <laughs> do as you will. Oh, you're not the only one who feels that way. Look over there. bored beyond compare. Will you not follow her? Oh, come on, hurry up. I know that you are curious to see what she is up to. I hear someone singing from over there. song. I feel that I have heard it in the past. Actually, it is not that I have heard it. I... did I once sing that song to someone? No, there's more. I wrote this song. Oh, but how could that be so? If that were true, then how could she be singing it? Unless... No, no. I am suddenly so exhausted. As are you, no doubt. Quickly then, to bed with you. Another lovely day. On such a fine day as this, it would certainly be nice to go for a stroll with someone. I wonder if anyone is around. Oh my, such awful noises. Who, or rather, what is making those sounds? Huh? Oh, hello, Flame. I feel a bit better now. Oh, you scared me. You nearly knocked me over with that scream. Well, you startled me. Appearing out of nowhere and making such sounds? What is it you are doing here anyway? I'm just out here using logs to train. Wow. Are you really capable of lifting something so massive, Raphael? Of course. Wanna see? <laughs> See? Told you I could do it. That was magnificent! Do you suppose I could give it a try as well? Hmm. It might be a bit too much for your tiny arms. Tiny or no, I want to be stronger. Do you have any tips for someone both willing and eager to grow? It's probably best to start by practicing your battle cry. If you let out a good shout, 
You'll feel even more powerful. Uh, you are a font of knowledge. Can you apply your wisdom and show me by example? No problem. Just follow my lead. Yeah! so sunny this morning, but now it's absolutely pouring. Did you hear the thunder just now? Good thing we got all the clothes indoors before the skies opened up. I apologize for troubling you with this task. Don't worry about it. I was just passing by and thought I could help. I know how frustrating it is to have your newly dried clothes soaked by rain. Oh. What's wrong? We managed to keep all of the clothes dry, didn't we? It's just... odd. Every time it's my turn to wash the clothing, there's a sudden downpour. Surely it must just be an inconvenient coincidence. But I can't help feeling as though I'm somehow to blame for it. Ah, I see. That probably is your fault. Wow. You're even harsher than I am. You have a crest of Karen, don't you? I do, yes, but... Hold on a moment. How did you know that? I can just tell. I have a crest of Karen, too. And I've noticed that, whenever I need dry weather, there's rain. Don't you think it's our crests making the rain fall upon us? How had I never connected this? This is quite a revelation. A crest affecting the weather. <laughs> well, I don't know how true it is. There are only the two of us, which is a pretty small sample of people. I suppose that's true. So... We must test our hypothesis. Hmm. Maybe we can find someone who tends to bring the sunshine around. That would be especially handy for helping out with the wash. Now there's an idea. Shh. 